We are here at Air Venture in the Fun Fly Zone and looking at something I personally have never seen before and I'm guessing most folks have never seen before unless they come from California and visited Rainbow Aviation. I'm Dan Johnson and I'm talking to Brian Carpenter, an old friend in the game here. You've been doing this for a long time. You've been helping people, you and your wife Carol, with uh, repairman uh, education of folks. You've been doing that for years, but a couple of years ago or more, you started on a new project here. What are we talking about and why are we standing in front of this unusual looking aircraft? Well, the aircraft that we're talking about here is the EMG-6. EMG stands for Electric Motor Glider. All right. And it's our vision for reintroducing an airplane into the light end of the world. Um, low cost, fun flying, pretty much everything that we remember in the days of the ultralight world that got us so excited right, right in the very beginning. And so um, this has been a process now for several years, but we think we've got something here. We're on the right track. So how long have you been at this particular project, Brian? We're almost two years into this. Two year. years into it. Well, I would say in two years you've come a long way. I mean, we're going to go look at another one that has sort of bare bones, if you will, and there's some beautiful aluminum work on it. But I also see some stuff here that looks like it comes from another company that we all know well and that you have represented in years past. Yeah, we've been uh, Quicksilver dealers since the very onset and um, through different ownerships even of the Quicksilver company. But the new owners of Quicksilver have become interested in partnering with us and they make 20 to 25 percent of the parts on this airplane and you'll see that like the sails and a lot of the fittings and stuff like that it's always oh, their work up here and, yeah, and exactly. some of this distinctive blue tubing that looks exactly. like a quicksilver and so in keeping with their type of construction and that type of flying um, we approached them early on about them being involved in the project and they've been very supportive and we've been going forward as a as kind of a partnership on this whole process so it's it's uh, I think a good partnership. So it's all your idea, your work, but they're assisting you in a partnership type arrangement. Is that it? Yeah, they're you know they've got a lot of capability over the years, and why not leverage all of that experience and tooling and equipment and energy that they've got in this sure, industry? Absolutely. So they built thousands of their aircraft. They've got that part down pretty good. Partnerships a mass strength, and you know we get to use the best of both capabilities, and that way we can work in many different areas. You know we've got 41. 30 steel, 2024 T3 aluminum, 6061 T6 tubes, carbon fiber composites, you know, pretty much every aspect of different type of construction on this airplane. And so, we've got a lot of expertise in a lot of different areas, and we take advantage of that expertise from where it best can come from. Now, what we've got here, Brian, this is an electric, you said, electric motor glider, so this is not a gasoline powered aircraft, and you've flown it without any engine, any engine on it just to kind of prove your airframe and so on, but now I, I'm looking over your shoulder here and I can see the electric components back there and I noticed a nice little folding prop at the rear. What's the idea behind this particular airplane, which I believe you said is your prototype? Yeah, this airplane, uh, proof of concept, and we've used this to start the flight testing and prove all of our concepts, and all of that's been going really well. We decided right from the very beginning on this aircraft that we knew that this needed to have, in order to be able to leverage electric uh, power plant system technology that we have today, we needed to have a pretty efficient airframe in order to be able to take advantage of that. And so we started off with the smallest possible power plant package. This happens to be a German motor, a Plettenberg uh, 37, Predator 37. It's about 15 kilowatts or 20 horsepower. Okay. And we sustain flight at about 60 to 65 percent power in flight. But the interesting thing about this is that we decided that we know how it takes a long time for any new technology to evolve and prove itself. And any of these new designs, usually there's a lot of R&D that goes on to find the quality product. Well, we leverage the model airplane industry, and everything that you see that's powering this airplane is off-the-shelf model airplane stuff. Is that right? It's model Every, airplane technology. Wow. Propellers, controllers, ESC, switching, uh, motors, it's all model airplane stuff for the giant scale model airplane stuff, and it's by no means even the biggest stuff that's out there on the market today. Is that right? But now, the I'll, nice thing I'll is, stop you just for a second to say that for those that folks that don't follow RC, it went from gasoline, spin them up type engines, which was dominating everything, I don't know how many years ago, it's virtually all electric now, isn't it? Yeah, even the hardcore guys that have been trying to hold on are giving in at this point. <laughs> you know, it just makes sense. So there might be a message there about uh, airplane pilots too. 
up thinking, Brian. Absolutely. So what we saw is that there was already a lot of R&D and research that's been done with thousands of these particular products out there in the, in the model industry. So it's already a pretty proven design. As long as we operate within its limitations, I think we've got this will be one of many different power plant options. We knew from the beginning of this whole project that the technology that's happening in electric motors right now is just exploding. Every single day we get more information about new stuff that's coming out. So we designed right from the very beginning that all of the power plant modules in this airplane is either a single, twin, or tri-motor configuration. We've got three mounts on the airplane to be able to take advantage of what we call distributed power. So we put little motors out on the wings and big ones in the back or any combination thereof. But we wanted to be able to make this stuff modular. Take the old technology out and the new I technology. I see, when the technology changes, you just plug and unplug. The minute that you buy a laptop, it's already obsolete. It's going to be the same thing for a while in electric power plants. That's a great stuff. metaphor. Everybody in, the, in yeah. computers knows that. Whatever you're buying today, it's already, the next one's already in the mill. Yep. yep. And so we would like to see, and we're uh, recruiting as many of the electric motor controller developers to partner with us to provide some different power plant options and we don't plan to be the R&D experts on motors. We're really not smart enough to do that and there's some really smart people out there in this industry so we're going to leverage whatever technology these guys develop and we'll promote it on our website and put it on the airplane, flight tested and some of those will rise to the top and people will say I really would like that option over this option. Kind of like what Rotax does, you know, they give motors to developers and after a while... They find magical uses. ways to use things. Uh, right. The computer industry does likewise. It, exactly. Nobody knew how the iPad was going to be used and I'm sure Apple has even surprised themselves. Uh, so, well, let's talk about 103 and this aircraft just for a little bit. Uh, we know that um, FAA seems to be taking quite some time to decide things about batteries versus gasoline power and so on. Uh, does this aircraft meet 103 as it's, or maybe not this particular one, but what you envision for this, can it this, meet 103, Brian? This particular airplane right here, without the ballistic parachute, with the four battery modules you see in the back, with the electric motor, all of that power plant system, as this sits, we're flying as a legal part one. Uh, you're you're right. within 254. We are within 254. We're right there at 254, and then we've got a ballistic parachute, which we get for free on the added on weight. With yeah, it doesn't, doesn't penalize you to add that, and you add a little safety to it, so that's great. The batteries that you have on board, this part 103 capable aircraft, will last you how long in flight, Brian? In a cruise configuration, at about 60% power, that's good for approximately 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. So so mainly what you're going to do here is get it up in the air, probably, if not throttle it completely back, I guess throttle's the right word, or re-estat it back, or I, we need some new language I suppose, I do anyway, but you've got a nice long wing here, what, what's the span of this? 37 foot. 37 span. foot, so. Uh, it had to fit in a standard 40 by 40 hanger, that was one of the designs. Ah, okay. <laughs> if you got to pull the wings every time, it's no fun. Yeah, that's not much fun, yeah. and I see you got off bearing, you made it as clean as you can, but of course you got to keep it simple too, so you can't use fancy car carbon fiber everywhere and whatnot because you couldn't make weight then. Right. Uh, so you're basically going to get up in the air and hopefully catch some lift with this guy. So what we've been doing, the first 50 flights on this airplane have all been ground tow. Okay. So we tow with an automobile. Actually, the most fun is a little 400cc Honda four-wheeler. I saw that on your video. I hook think, on right? a 400, 1400 foot rope and we get a thousand foot toes on a regular basis. Is that right? I enjoy doing that just as much as putting the power to it. It's an absolute hoot to fly. Solid as a rock. In fact, the last couple toes we've been doing, as um, soon as we're transitioned on the toe, let go of the stick and it'll fly itself all the way to the apex. Wow. Excellent. Don't have to touch the stick. A little rudder to keep it lined up. And, and this is all your design, is it? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Well, you must have done it right if that's the case, what you just described. That's pretty impressive. Fun airplane. Well, you've got another aircraft here that we want to go look at because it's in what I would call bare bones configuration, meaning that the coverings that you have over this one that is uh, more finished looking in that sense. It looks mighty nice. I think let's go over and have a look at that if we can. You betcha. Yeah, this one, you know, prototype, everybody in prototype world knows what happens with prototypes. There's a lot of changes in mods. And, um, this is where we establish what the final product of the customer will see is, but this one's quite a bit different than the, the production prototypes that we're taking. Well, let's go have a look. Okay.
This is what we call the production prototype. Production prototype, meaning yeah. leading to the place where you're going to start knocking them out. Right. This is this is how the customer will see the product in the end result. Well, so. it's it's really pretty. I mean, this aluminum work. Well, you already got my convinced, uh, my my mind convinced, Brian. So nice job, you and Carol, and, and your whole team. How many people are working with you on this? Um, we've got about six people that are part of this whole process right now. Great, great. Well, some good stuff. So let's talk a little bit about uh, if people are as convinced as I am, they're going to want to start asking questions like, well, uh, when can I get one? How how will it be delivered? Uh, Carol indicated early, earlier to me when we were talking to her that this one's an experimental. This particular one here is going to be experimental amateur built. And and use a couple of power packs, is that right? Yeah, well, we want to take all of these um, prototypes and be able to leverage all this new technology so it will probably have several different power plants throughout the year. And by the time we show up next year, we hope to have three different power plant options flying at the show next year. That's our goal for cool. next year. Cool, cool. So. Well, we'll be back down to look at some more then, but today, if somebody said, fine, I'm, I'm convinced, what do they have to do, Brian? So there's a couple of people right now that uh, have placed deposits for kits. Okay. And we're doing a kit where you have to do welding yourself at 12,000 and a rector set like a Quicksilver uh, for 16,000. Okay. So everything's pre-welded. You're basically bolting it together, some pop rivets, and uh, you know, installing the sails and stuff like that, like you would a Quicksilver. Now, is that an airframe kit or is that a complete everything kit? No, we're just doing right now, um, we're the enthusiasm for this is far outstripping our ability to produce and so the number of power plant options that we have currently available pretty limited and so we're recommending those guys that just cannot stop from going forward start on with the build process and start waiting to choose the power plant options till we get them a half dozen different options okay so if i could summarize that that means it's an airframe kit today exactly and that'll get them going and they can start doing the things they need to do to get it all together and then that as you said about computers and whatnot the technology is going to change so it's kind of like those guys that buy a, a gasoline engine for their airplane then it sits there for five years while they build the airplane that's that's not smart and this would be even less smart to do that and we have a couple guys that will they're already interested in doing gasoline motor or anything. Ah, okay i'm uh, sure one yeah, of the I'm more sure interesting one of the more interesting ones that's got my attention is the rc industry makes some of these radial engines that are 23 horsepower about that big around <laughs> and he wants to put two on the wings. <laughs> I, it sounds in the YouTube videos just like little Pratt and Whitney's. I think that'd be awesome. He's even got my attention. <laughs> but um, we've got a plans built option also where they can build off of plans and we've got some awesome 3D modeling plans. Um, you'll have to take a look at the way that the plans are built on this thing. It's just really quite incredible what we're doing. Um, well, Brian, we've, we've, we've pumped you for a lot of information here, and I don't want to wear you out completely, but uh, nor do we want to go on forever. We want to send people to you to say, look, not only is there more information to get, but that information is going to change because of this rapid pace of technology that's so exciting. So why don't we just go right to a web address, give us a web address where we can get a hold of you and Carol and find out more. Electricmotorglider.com, all one word and there's lots of information on there. Uh, probably the most interesting thing is to follow the progress blog. When I'm at home, I pretty much every day update what we've been doing, all of our troubles and tribulations along the way as well. It's really quite fun to follow. A uh, million hits a month on the website right now. Is that right? International Excellent. audience that's really, really strong, So and it's fun. And I do well, I've been following it too, yeah. so I can echo that. It is, uh, it's, it's very uh, friendly writing and quite a bit of detail. So if you've got more questions, you want more information, you don't even have to call, you can just follow the blog. You're gonna cover a lot of your information. If you're ready to buy, go to that website. I'll try and keep up with it as well as best I can. It's moving so fast, I'm gonna to have to stay busy too. You can find more of that on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Brian Carpenter and myself here at AirVenture in the Fun Fly Zone. Got it.